Most people can speak faster than they can type. So why not take advantage of the superpower by dictating your documents? Using speech to text is a great way to quickly get your thoughts down in writing. I'll show you how to dictate documents in Microsoft Word on a computer or your smartphone. If you use the Mac or Windows desktop version of Word, you won't find the dictate button unless you subscribe to Microsoft 365. However, you can use the free Microsoft Word webpage or smartphone apps to dictate. The steps for dictating documents in Word are largely the same no matter whether you're using the desktop app or the browser-based version. Launch Word, either the desktop app on your Mac or PC or the web app in Chrome, Firefox or Edge. In the Home menu, select the microphone icon. If prompted, select the button to allow the use of your microphone. Web app users will see a toolbar with controls for your microphone. Select the microphone icon to begin dictating. Once the microphone icon is activated, you can begin speaking, and you'll see your words appear in the Word document. Web users can select the gear icon on the dictation toolbar to choose the spoken language, select which microphone device they want to use, and toggle auto punctuation and profanity on or off. You can use your keyboard or word suggestions to edit your document without having to turn the microphone off. When you're finished, you can exit dictation by selecting close, that's the X icon, in the dictation toolbar or pressing the microphone button on the ribbon again. Smartphones are made for dictation. You might feel a little strange talking to yourself, but it's certainly faster than using your phone's tiny keyboard. On your phone, start with a new Word document or open an existing one. Tap the screen where you want to start dictating and then select the microphone icon. You can choose the microphone icon inside the Word app itself or the icon on your soft keyboard. Either one will work. The benefit of using the Word app's microphone icon is that you'll have access to some other dictation tools. You'll see a toolbar with standard punctuation, a spacebar, and a carriage return. Sometimes it's easier to tap those buttons than it is to use voice commands. You'll also have access to the gear icon to adjust the settings like spoken language, auto punctuation, and the profanity filter. The first time you select the microphone icon in the Word app, you may be prompted to grant Word permission to record audio on your phone. You can choose to either allow it every time you use the app or only this one time. At any point, you can always select the help button where you'll find information on all the voice commands you can use. If you want some solid tips and tricks for using dictation in Word, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.